All right, we're here today with Farrier Leaf Martinson. Leaf, hello. Hey guys. Thanks for coming to Gold Buckle Barrel Horses today and talking about rodeo for a reason. And I know that every time you come here, you've got something on your heart that God has spoken to you for the day. So what do you have to share for us today? Well, Kendra, thanks for asking me to speak. I always thank the Lord for the opportunity to give a message. And we don't always know that we have a message from the Lord. But if we talk to him and ask him, then he'll give us one. I guarantee it. He will respond. You ask for him to show up and he will be there. And uh, while we're assuming this course, Kendra, got to thinking about what we're doing, what we're doing in our lives, what we're doing for the ministry, and what we're doing for Jesus. And, and Jesus said, as you go, make disciples. And that doesn't mean waiting for your circumstances to change in life. That doesn't mean waiting for that golden opportunity to be up there in front of a church. That means as you go, make disciples. You're already going. And where does God have you going today? You're already doing something. What does God have you doing today? God's working in the midst, and when we allow him to work in the midst, when we allow him to work through us, he's going to be there. All we have to be is willing. There was a while back where I was feeling like maybe I was being called into a ministry, so I got praying to him. And I said, you know what, God? Help me to be financially independent so I don't have to go to work and I can just commit myself right to the ministry. And he said, you know what? I already got you in a ministry. I got you right where I want you. And he has all of us right where he wants us. And we don't have to wait for that to change for him to use you. So I just encourage you to think about that. The people that you interact with, the people that are in your life, what is he doing? Because he's doing something. And I, I, want, I want you to pray about that. And I want, I want you to let that soak in, that he wants to use you. You don't have to wait to fix yourself. As you go, make disciples. Thank you, Kendra. That was beautiful. Thank you. High five while you shoot a horse. <laughs> so um, I've asked you before to pray for me personally, to pray for people that I know, for people who may be watching and, and don't know how to pray, or maybe they feel like their prayers aren't, um, effective, do you have a sample prayer for them? Absolutely. Let's all pray together. And you don't have to cross your arms in a certain way, and you don't have to get down on a knee. You can pray right where you're at, and you can pray right where you're doing what you're doing. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you for being here with us. Thank you for going with us for looking over us, and for guiding us, and directing us. Lord, we just thank you for being the creator of the universe and wanting a relationship with us, wanting us to call upon you when we need you, when we have praises to give. Thank you, Lord, for all of the things that you have done, the life that we have in us, the breath that we have. Thank you, Lord. We just love you, and we want to have a relationship with you, and we want to get to know you in the way that you want us to know you. We just thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was awesome. Thank you, everyone, for watching. You can follow Leif Martinson on Facebook. And he does a fine job shoeing horses. As you can see, we're just getting started on this one. You're on, like, your eighth horse of the day here at Goldbuckle. But uh, thanks for your time, and thanks for your coaching and your wisdom in the Lord. Oh, thank you, Kendra. Thank you, everybody.